let's do an example. Let's say we have this image taken through a telescope of some stars. We have a star located at position 100, 200, so that's the row and column in the image. And we want to find the uh, 3D unit vector pointing at the star. Assume that the image is 1,000 by 1,000. The optical center is in the center of the image. Its CCD plane is 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters, and the focal length is 1 meter. OK. Get my pointer. So remember that this is your columns. This is rows. Um, so the star we're looking at, let's see, row 100, column 200 would be about right here. So that's probably the star we're looking at. So we want to find the 3D unit vector pointing at the star. So if I draw my um, image plane, let's say here's the vector to the star. Okay. Um, that passes through the image plane at location x, y. And you can think of that as a 3D point, though, if, if I append the z distance um, equal to the focal length f. So, so we have to find, so we know what f is, that's 1 meter. We want to find what is x and y in terms of uh, image plane coordinates, not um, image buffer coordinates. Okay, so remember we have that equation to compute the image plane coordinates. That's just the image buffer coordinates minus the center times sx y image minus cy sy. Okay, so we know CX and CY are 500, right? That's the halfway through the image. Um, we don't know what SX and SY are, but we can figure that out pretty easily because we know that the um, image plane is 10 millimeters. In the buffer, though, that is equal to 1,000 pixels. So the scaling factor or size of a pixel is 10 millimeters divided by 1,000 pixels, which is 0 0.01 millimeters. So one pixel is 0 0.01 millimeters by 0 0.01 millimeters. OK, so that's everything we need to know the um, uh, the vector to that. So the vector is again x, y, f, which is 200 minus 500 times 0 0.01. The y component is 100 minus 500 times 0 0.01. And the focal length was a um, thousand millimeters. So these are all millimeters, by the way. Okay. So and then of course whatever that comes out to be, um, the unit vector would be that vector divided by its magnitude. All right. Um, just a note on the focal length. So recall that, oops, recall that we had this equation relating the image buffer coordinates to the image plane coordinates, or equivalently the other way around. And also the perspective equation, projection equations were this. So I can plug in, let me just erase that. So I can plug in the, um, the value for the image 
um, uh, plane coordinates and I get um, f over sx, x over z, plus cx, etc. So since this always occurs in a ratio, so if I'm trying to project a 3D point onto a 2D image, all I really know, need to know is this ratio of f over sx and f over sy. So I don't really need to know the actual values of f and sx and sy individually, just their ratios. So equivalently, I could express the focal length in terms of pixels. So if focal length was, let's say, millimeters, and the size of a pixel was also millimeters, this is unitless, or effectively pixels. So let's see how that would work in this example. Um, so I have a camera looking at a rectangle. Let's, let's say it looks straight on at the rectangle. The rectangle is 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters. In the image, the rectangle is 200 by 90 pixels. So what is the focal length in pixels? Okay, let's draw a little picture here. Um, okay, so our rectangle is somewhere in the image, and it's uh, it's 200 um, pixels wide, and I know that's really corresponds to 20 centimeters. Whoops. Okay, so the focal length then I can get by doing these similar triangles. So let's say that, um, I mean it really doesn't matter where I look in the image here, let's say it's 20 centimeters and this length is uh, 200 pixels. Here's my focal length f. So if I take um, 20 centimeters divided by 200 pixels, that's equal to, um, whoops, let me fix that. Okay, let's take um, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So so we this d length here is a hundred centimeters. Okay. So let's take um, 20 centimeters over 100 centimeters. That's equal to 200 pixels over F. So F is a um, 1,000 pixels. OK, so this is actually the um, focal length in the x direction. Turns out we're actually going to get two focal lengths because this particular camera doesn't have square pixels. So we get effectively a different focal length in each direction. In the y direction, um, we're going to have this equation. We're going to have um, 10 centimeters over 100 centimeters is equal to 90 pixels over f sub y, or f sub y is 900 pixels. OK, so another question is, if image size is 640 by 480, what is the field of view? Okay, so our image is 640 pixels by 480. Okay, so we can find that out again by taking 
the um, angle here, solving for this half angle. And let's do the, the horizontal direction first. Let's say, uh, which is 640 over 2, which is 320. So I get uh, tangent of theta sub x over 2 is equal to 320 pixels divided by um, fx, which is 1,000 pixels which is um, gives me a theta sub x of about 35 degrees. Uh, similarly, I can solve for theta y. It's going to be 240 pixels divided by uh, 900 pixels, which gives me theta y of about 30 degrees. So it can happen um, that these pixels are not square. Ideally, you'd prefer them to be square, but if they're not, you actually get two focal lengths.